store and he bought whatever it was, candy bar and a, a drink or something. And the total came to six dollars and 66 cents. So he goes to the register and the cashier actually asks him, whoa, you know, six, 66, do you want to buy something else? <laughs> Phil said, no, I want exactly what I put on the counter. He bought it for six dollars and 66 cents, left the store, walked back in and bought the exact same item. <laughs>
yikes from it. <laughs> and also, okay. I, I used to live in Austin, so I knew Eric Murphy since so I lived in Austin. Okay, let's stop. Let's well, you have another question. You have three more questions. You do. I do? Yes, go right on through here. Okay. Who has the bigger oh, height difference? <laughs> Or genetically modified, oh, that's easy. Genetically modified, skeptic, and objectively damned. <laughs> Do you even have like? <laughs> Who wrote this? We don't talk, right? I mean, Jimmy Howard. Travis Simon. I don't know what you're talking about. You ever seen Stuart Little? It's kind of like that. When I'm on the plane, I say that I'm travel sized. Oh, yeah. Fun size. So reach the ground. If someone, if a man is tall enough for his legs to reach the ground, then he, he is tall enough. Did you say, did you say fun size? Fun size. What's fun about getting this much of a candy bar? <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> gonna have a big ass candy bar come at you. My boy Dan's gonna fuck you up. That actually sounds exciting. <laughs> What would you make videos about? Hopscotch? Probably. <laughs> um, how not to break your ankle. <laughs> what not to do when you're hiking. Um, in, in all total complete seriousness, probably a lot of stuff about reproductive justice. with the National Network of Abortion Funds, Bullathon, since 2012, and I worked for Planned Parenthood for a little while, too. Thank you for reproducing, Thomas. Don't. <laughs> Rachel Oz and Arnon do each other's makeup. I knew it. <laughs> Who comes out looking pretty good? Seth Andrews. <laughs> All right, for the discount garden gnome and hobbly tile, you guys can go ahead and step down. Let's give it up for these people. You know that song, I'm in love with a stripper? I'm going to write one about gnomes now. All right, uh, we have Shannon Q. Drink it already. <laughs> In Nova Scotia, apparently that's that's like there. Yeah, li liquid lunch is apparently very common thing there. Yeah, breakfast, liquor, and third lunch. <laughs> is that why your flight was so difficult? You just like couldn't fucking find your terminal? <laughs> no, I actually ran from terminals. Terminals. <laughs> Zigzags, I'm assuming. No, because I can start drinking until it's on the second plane. <laughs> it's, it's really Straight good for, line. That's good for a Nova Scotia. It's as far on the plane. All right, so who wants to be interviewed by Shannon? Oh, goodness, okay. You get to pick. <laughs> oh, God. This is difficult. Um, who is uh, Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to try to Speaking of minions, yeah, so you're gonna have to go ahead and pick something out there. And min mini glasses you can wear if you'd like. Oh. This is perfect. Oh, watch, watch the mic down here. <laughs> I know Shannon's the drunk one, but still. I don't even have a beer. I don't know how fast you get drunk here in Texas, but not here in the US. I'm size, okay? It doesn't take much. There we go. Voice that is suitably rakish angle. <laughs> Skip forward to there. Let's uh, let's make sure that Kate uh, gets a little introduction though. Yes. Kate, why don't you introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, everybody. I'm Kate Farr. I'll, I also have a YouTube channel, Bionic Dance. If that is <laughs> I'm uh, 
have the Phoenix videos, and I animate, so. And uh, now I have questions for you. Question one, do you have any weird questions for any one of our speakers? Uh, yes, can I have a cookie? <laughs> No, if you're, if you're an atheist YouTuber, Kate has commented, can I have a cookie, at least once, on your videos. And it's like a rite of passage. I got that comment at, you know, like 3,000 subscribers, and I was like, hot damn, I made it. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out there. Question two, Prophet of Zod and Sarah Palin, God, poor Zod. <laughs> Prophet of Zod and Sarah Palin are both Alaskans and have never been seen in the same room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's funny, you wouldn't think it, but Sarah Palin is actually the secret identity and Prophet of Zod is the supervillain. <laughs> of videos from the atheist YouTube community. Mine. <laughs> you can answer that question before I I, 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 in all seriosity, I love it when people are debunking other people the same way I am. Um, I'm not the world's hugest fan of live streams unless I'm in them, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's a theme in Kate's answers, in case that's right. I'm, I'm not even the tiniest bit full of myself. <laughs> Question four, outside of filming his videos, during what activities do you think rationality rules also loudly exclaims the word debunked? <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> if he goes out to a bar and someone says, my, you're attractive. <laughs>